Now that the manifold's built, it's really time to put everything together. We're about to detach these unions so that we can screw the male adapters into the barrels. But before we do, we're going to label each side so that we can be sure to attach, reattach the right parts together. I just use numbers. This will be number one. I label it on each side. Number two. And all the way down the line. All of this plumbing will be concealed under the barrel, so I'm not too concerned with how it looks. I'm applying Teflon tape to the threaded end of the male adapter for extra leak seal. And once that's done, we can screw the male adapter in place into the barrel. I get it as tight as possible using my hands, and then I use a channel ox to really tighten it up. We're going to take one last step to seal against any potential leaks, and we're going to do that with a silicone seal around the edge of each bung. Silicone can be a little messy. I'm going to do just a thin bead, and I'm going to use my finger to smooth it out. I have some soapy water here so that the silicone doesn't stick to my finger. We do this on both bungs on each barrel. With the barrels out of the way, we've placed the manifold between the foundation rows. Just like that. With the barrels out of the way, we've placed the manifold in place with number one on this end, number six on that end, so everything will line up when we put our barrels back on. There's an opening on this end where we're going to put the spigot. The next step will be to reattach the unions under the barrels. The unions come with an o-ring in them to help them seal watertight, so we just attach them hand tight. I don't use Teflon tape, although you certainly could. 